Okay guys, so first you want to start with clear face and you want to apply the concealer on your eyelids like usual and you want to blend it out. I'm using my beauty blender but then I switched to my finger because I don't know, I just felt like I wanted to use my finger. And then once you blend it out, you go ahead and use your translucent powder and you apply that over your lid just to set the concealer. Then I'm grabbing my Morphe Platted Palette. What palette right here? And I'm using this caramel looking color and I'm putting this inside my crease. And I'm starting with a little color and then working my way in and then you know grab a little bit more color when you want to put a little bit more color on your eyelid. Uh, and here's my husband came to visit me doing my thing. But you want to make sure you start with a little color and then build. Because you don't want to start with too much color and then you all of a sudden you're like, oh my gosh, I put too much. And then you got to use like a makeup wipe and you got to wipe everything off. Then you got to start from scratch. That's not good. <laughs> then I'm going in with this brown color here and I'm putting this on the outer V of my eyelids. And I'm just starting with a little and then like I said, work your way um, to a little bit more color. But you just go ahead and push the color into your eyelids like so. Then I'm going in with this red color and I'm going to apply this on my eyelids. Um, this takes a while for it to show, but if you want a little bit more, like intensify the color, then you go ahead and spray Max, your like setting spray or anything like that. I'm using my Max Fix Plus spray. Then I'm going in with this brown color again and I'm going to put it on the outer view of my eyes. Then you go ahead and blend it out so that there is no harsh lines. Then I'm going back in with the same um, caramel looking orange color and I'm putting that above my crease just to give it a little bit more of the color because I feel like it was going away and so you can see like the the layers of the colors that are on your eyelid Then I'm going in with this light cream color and I'm putting this on my eyebrow bone just to give it a little bit of highlight on there. Then I'm moving on to the face and I'm using my Smashbox primer and my daughter woke up so that's why she's here sitting on my lap. <laughs> And then I'm trying out my Hourglass foundation in the color Warm Beige. I think this color is a little bit too light for me, but we're just going to go and work with it. So for this foundation, I'm using a brush instead of my Beauty Blender, only because I feel like with this foundation, you need a brush to stipple it in rather than, you know, using the beauty blender because I felt like the foundation would just stick to my beauty blender. So that's why I'm using the brush. Mm -hmm. 
Then you want to go ahead with your concealer and put this on your eyelids. You guys know the deal. And the foundation definitely is too light for me, but I'm going to work with it. We're going to try and tone the color down a little bit just to match my skin. Then you go ahead and blend, 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 blend everything out. Then I'm using translucent powder to set my concealer throughout my face. I end up pretty much putting it all over my face just to set my foundation. <laughs> then I'm just going to contour for a little, just for a little, just a little on my face. I'm using the ColourPop Sculpting Stick. Wait. And then you just want to blend everything out like so. No. Then I'm using my Makeup Forever Dry Foundation and I'm going to put this all over my face just to tone down the color. I'm going back in with my Morphe palette. I'm grabbing the same colors that I use on my eyelids and I'm putting this right below my waterline just to give it a little bit more color. So I'm pretty much just using the same colors that I use on my eyelids and I'm just layering it uh, under my waterline just so that it can kind of match and make it look pretty, you know. Then for my lip, I'm using the Kylie Jenner Lip Kit in the color Ginger and I'm just outlining my lips and then I go ahead and apply the ginger color. I really love the ginger color. I think I said this in my previous videos, but it is my favorite lip kit color. Then I'm just highlighting. I'm using the shimmery color on the Morphe palette. I'm just putting it on the bridge of my nose, on my eyebrow bone. I'm also applying it in the inner corner of my eyes just to give it a little bit of pop, a little bit of pop, just to make my eyes pop a little. <laughs> I went ahead and did my eyeliner and mascara earlier. I don't think I mentioned it, but that completes the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you hadn't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. All right, bye guys.